from a show at the barn. We don't have transport. We are walking to Tavo. So as we walk, I tell these guys there's a show today at Kani. Shaggy is performing. It's a new year by Pilsner. Mm. So we go to Kani. So as a clever manager, we go there early. So we negotiate. Oh, by the way, it's 31st December. Mm. We don't want to pay. We don't have cash to pay 2,000 shillings, 1,000 to enter a show. So I will negotiate for them to perform. If there's money, they can be given. If there's no cash, it's okay. They just give us some food and drinks and we're okay. If that's not there, let us just enter the show free mm. and just perform. We'll perform even at four to seats. We get in. Meet some guys there. They say, okay, sorry, go backstage. Nee, 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 nee. You'll perform at this time, blah, blah, blah. We are good. That time, K okay, South is recording. What to wengine wana tabia mbaya, mbaya. To wengine wana tabia mba, mbaya sana. <laughs> So they have a couple of songs. So it gets to the evening. It's about seven o'clock, eight. The manager comes and says, by the way, hey, the MC hasn't come. Can you announce for me something? Hey, I go to the stage. I'm on the stage, I'm like, listen, me, even if I'm not paid, I'm being seen by all these people here. Then mm. they're chiles here. I'm happy. <laughs> Apple backstage, you're being given the cani platters and they're giving us dawa. Mm. And I'm like, okay, what else can you ask for? See, I'm backstage. Mm, that's and I'm on stage, my friend. I'm gonna call a New Year's here. Ten o'clock, the MC hasn't come. The DJ is playing. Eleven o'clock, the DJ hasn't come. The same manager comes back and tells me, make this announcement, push drinks, push sales, push that, push that. Play with the DJ, make sure everything is happening, put your group on board. So my group performs at eleven. Your group B now, K South. K South. Kill it. Come, DJs, what, what, what. I'm the one who started this thing of dancing and hyping on stage as an MC. Mm. At midnight, at around 11.40, 11.30, the MC shows up, drunk. The manager at Kani tells me, do this, don't leave the stage. Don't leave this guy. So you just MC. Sawa, do you want another... Dawa, mm. do you want another platter? <laughs> hey, bring. At one, the guy disappears again. So I'm left there alone. Now, I don't have a car to take me home. I can't go knock on the bishop's house in the middle of the night. Do you open for me the door? Mm. I said, listen, me, I'm just going to enjoy myself on the stage. So I just enjoy myself till morning. The show ends at six. We close. I walk with Kesaut to Tao. You walk to Tao? It's not far. From Kani? Yes. Hey, bro. You forgot I used to walk five clicks. <laughs> it's a how nice out. The next Wednesday is what they used to call rock night at the Kani. Yeah. It was a big night. Big. So I call up my friend Fundi Frank. We go to Kani. Fundi Frank was from the same hood. How did you know Fundi Frank? So Fundi Frank has come up as a, as a hip hop rapper from Mombasa. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But now we come to Nairobi, he's doing some goals about uh, Fundi Frank where he's trying to establish himself as, 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 a, as a designer. So we enter Carnival and uh, the cool guys used to stand behind the DJ. Mm -hmm. So as we used to stand behind the cool guys. <laughs> so we stand there and as I'm there, Chile uh, guys are coming, yeah, so you on the knee, yeah, so you, uh, yeah, you saw me, man, yeah, yeah, that's me. Cool kids. <laughs> I'm the guys. That manager comes, he's called Mr. Fred Moore here. He's now the GM for Tamarind Group. Mm. Fred tells me, what's wrong with you? Why did you disappear on that day? I'm like, damn. I think the platter was to be paid. Mm. How will I afford carnival food? Jesus Christ. Yeah, you went, we looked for you, we can't find you. He says, go to the cashier. <sighs> me, I said, you know what? When I get to the cashier, they tell me at his oh, what? <laughs> I'm out. I'm disappearing. I tell the guy I'm coming. I'll never come to Kani again. Mm. The cashier sees me. He goes like this. Now you've caused us a lot of problems. Man. Why did you disappear? I'm like, I'm sorry. Me, it ended. I, I left. Mingapi. He tells me, uh, you know, the manager said we divide the MC's chums into two. 
So you're taking half, you took half. S sign here, 70,000. What? <laughs> <laughs> <That's it. laughs> What? 70 years. What year is this, by the way? My, my, my memory uh, fails me. Okay, okay, I get. I'm like, oh my God. But 70 is even today. I'm like, MCs are paid 150. I'm like, just to speak. I do this thing for free. <laughs> I'm like, no way. Put the money in my pocket. And disappear from carnival. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I said because these guys might want to hijack me, mm -hmm. I took a cab from there to Nairobi West. Uh. I shook at there, I disappeared, I get another Matri to Tao, then I took another Matri to that like they can't find me. Uh, uh. <laughs> I didn't go back I think for three weeks. Just in case they got the number wrong. But they call home. They said, listen, hey, by the way, we're having an event uh, in a, are you available? What? Like, damn. I can actually. So, I become a favorite at the carnival. Any show, they call me. MC Niwewe. I'm the MC. In fact, at some point, it was so monotonous that the poster must read Bouncing Castle, Face Painting, and Big Ted. <laughs> okay, put a pin there. We're going to come back. Glory, Tabernacle. So, we are at, at, at YMCA. We were with this group. So now, remember at the, at the, at the New Year's thing, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Clip comes to Nairobi Baptist Church and meets another group doing something called Racapella. Rap a cappella. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Big Kev comes in, so tell the devil today, you end the stepping stone, tell him to leave you alone, tell him to go back to hell. So we do something called Racapella. <laughs> so clip and the uh, rap group. Uh -huh. That time, my partners, one of them, uh, leave, two of them leave for the States. I remain with Davy. Davy forms a dance group. Oh, your partners in clip? Yes. Okay. One, they, two. So uh -huh. one of them forms a dance group, which now becomes the main dance group for Peter Dera. Uh -huh. I leave and join I cannot be careful so we make a big group called rap community Ooh. <laughs> the only female rapper then MCLC Captain uh -huh. John Googie Jimmy Okungu Big Ted Isaac Gatembo uh, SOG so what about uh, two guys uh, the girl of Manyake Circuit VMC is in our group and Ominde now Steve that time I jumped a place. Uh, we have we have no problem this hey, this time. Somewhere in between there. Actually, it's around this time. We are doing. We're trying to make gospel music go mainstream. So we are looking for a lot of opportunities. So remember, I used to be a DJ. So I become a sound man mm. for Peter Dera. How do I do it? Ramco Court was the hub because that's where Sync Sounds used to be the studio. Mm, where um, Bruce Odiambo was? No. Ted Josiah. Ted Josiah. Ted Josiah. Sorry, yeah. So, and uh, you pass by there because Ted used to live at South B. Mm. Now, the part I didn't tell you is I recorded my first song in 1992. 92? Where? With who? Ted Josiah. I finished high school, I meet Ted at a gig, because now what used to happen, there was a movement which was, because then there was no secular music, it was more gospel, mm. okay? And I can have Peter had done something at a um, fun restaurant, which was at Buckley's, Buckley's Plaza, Plaza. Uh -huh. basement. So that's where we used to go and rap and do everything, and now there'll be competitions, there'll be rapping things and everything. So I meet this one working a working a Ted and we're doing the group Hart. Yes. Now Hart used to do that thing at Yes. Uh -huh. So when there there was to be triumph. So during that time, we I discover where they hang out, which is at Sing South, so I go. 
as I'm there, I go like, hey, what can you do? I'm like, I can DJ, I can help you do this, I can I love cables. So they go like, okay, help us. But as we do a couple of things, um, because this would be a bar called Jazz Bar at, at Yaya, mm-hmm. where now they would go and do gigs and everything. As we do that, uh, Pete goes like, listen, Bana, well, from today onwards, you, you are big Ted, <laughs> and you, you are Ted. Because there were two Ted's. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that's where the big came from. It came from Peter Dera. Peter Dera. Because it was Ted Josiah. And Big Ted. Uh, and Ted Quaker. Uh, yes. So now to differentiate, they called me Big. And that's where the name took off. From. And then now you, that's the same place where now you record your song. No, I recorded my song in Ted Josiah's bedroom in South B. Ooh, not even at in a studio. My song was called Open Up Your Heart. Open up your heart, open up your hat. The real king is knocking at the door of your hat now. Open up your hat, open up your hat. He's coming in to chill, feel, and keep the peace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was actually the first Swahili gospel rapper in Kenya. What about John Key? So, John is later on with Akina Innovator. So, them they come later. Okay. Later, later on. Now, we are touring everywhere with Pete. So churches, water and everything, being kicked out of others, being chased. Because that time, Peter's dreads, he has earrings. Oh, churches are on. Ah, those guys are spoiling our kids. Those guys should never step into this place again. Mm. That's when enter Dr. Wale, mm-hmm. who says, all of you are being chased. Come to my church. And a revolution begins in this town, where now gospel becomes cool. Mm. I mean, 10,000 people in a church. What? Yes, we used to fill the amphitheater at KICC. Because that's where you, you guys would meet. So we'd meet. We'd do concerts, 10,000 people. Okay. Wahoo is also part of the guys who come into this Wahoo, thing. Wahoo was my friend from Nairobi Baptist Church. Mm. So I bring in Wahoo. That time she's at Paki Baptist. So I bring in Wahoo to this crew. And then she now does BGV for Pete. Because mm. Pete forms uh, a group and she's doing her thing, and everybody's trying to just get the thing going. Okay, I want to throw this tabernacle. This So, there's two things I want us to talk about. That time I've met Wahoo. She's my girl. I like her. I'm like, hey, this chick is fine. So, I even convinced her, me and her, go to do French together. I actually got better nameless. <laughs> I got Wahoo her driving license. You should pay me something. I'm tired of telling you this. Okay? For taking care of that chick for you. So I almost cut here Wahoo, man. I'm like, you got lakini, I'm afraid Mazi, if I if I stray too much and she might, you know. I'm like, Mazi, what's up? And um, there's a whole joke about it. They say that that's the longest the sister says that's the longest crash she's ever seen in her life. <laughs> Because I never made any move. I was just like, if them stewarding, stewarding. I don't know if Twin Gear here. I don't know if she'll say no. If she says no, you're a rap. <laughs> you know? So she joins and she does. She's with Pete. That she does all that thing. And uh, now you can see how it starts growing. Because mm-hmm. we're always in campus. Mm-hmm. At Nairobi University, we come there a lot. Me and Big Kev. She meets Nameless. Mm. We know Nameless. He's starting to sing. But he's secular as we are gospel. You guys are doing this rap community thing. Yes. T- t- people may not know what was rap community. Did you guys have a song? Did you guys? I know you were honored by the Groove Awards. Yes, okay. yes. Lifetime achievement. Yes. So you remember we actually the first rap group, mm. uh, hip hop in 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 the in the in the, in the gospel. Mm. Uh, the first gospel rap group. Yes. Guys like me came after you. I we stand on I stand on your shoulders. All of you guys like came way way beyond. And remember that time rap was not a genre which was accepted in the church. Mm. So we were actually just outcasts. In fact, I have very old footage of you guys rapping. Here it is, Groot. There was no, we, we, we were just having fun, yeah? We were the most popular group in Nairobi without an album and without a recording. <laughs> but we were known everywhere, yeah? Rap community would go from church to church. You know, some churches were happy to have us. Other churches would reject us. They'd say, don't allow those guys to get on our stage because we just can't have that kind of music. 
yeah but at this time rap community was doing something that was creating a new revolution it was creating a new environment in nairobi <laughs> We come in the gym because it's a place to be Oh yeah, this is how we go, this is how we go Hey yo man, give me some life in this house Hey man, give me some life in this house Oh yeah Oh yeah, don't take that Hey, the fuck that's what I want Throw your hands in the air Uh, throw your hands in the air Like that's so put your back Oh yeah, here we go Like you know, cause I'm at We've been walking my stuff Cause it's just a place Cross from the bottom to the street Everything is all right, right, right. We don't stop. Oh, put your hands on the air. We don't stop. Living like you just don't care. We don't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My G's over there. We don't stop. Oh, let me see your hands on the air. We don't stop. S G M I C R P Z J C. Uh, we may not have anything tangible today mm. in terms of recordings or, or or properly directed videos and whatnot. I believe rap community came and did a very big thing in the industry yeah? yeah and even look at the people who are in it and look at what it gave rise to people like wahoo hang out with the rap community yeah mm. wahoo did background vocals for some of the rap community songs oh yeah i see you when your colors always pretty clear to me oh, yeah. let me speak my piece let me show you how it be tell them tell them mr baby uh-huh. if you think you're gonna yeah, get yeah, freaky yeah. with me yeah yeah dandali dandala dandala dandali we was doing uh, fine till uh, the day you uh, said to me speak you up for it for a late in the day but you were thinking that's not the food you on the plate you got the job oh, oh, Cause if you think we can have an any money more This way please the let me see you to the door Understand me baby for you I do give a hook But when it comes down to where you wanna know See when you call it so it's pretty clear to me Let me speak my piece let me show you how it be Ask the little baby If you think you're gonna get freaky Dun-da-lee, dun-da-la, dun-da-la, dun-da-lee We were doing fine till that day you said to me I'm making you up an egg for a late dinner day But you were last on your mind Not the food of the sea You got a job Yeah, with VMC, yeah. So where did you guys Sachut used to go and do gigs? had a song called, uh, uh, no, Jimmy had a song called AK-47. The Bible is my AK-47, it's the word of God and you know I'm going to heaven. Um, Sakut had Manyake, no I'm lying, yeah. Manyake, it was gospel. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, you, you didn't record anything. You didn't go into a studio as a rap group and record. We, we, you, see, you see, also understand that at that time, Recording was not that it was a ready like resource. Like now you can record anywhere. Exactly. It, it, I mean, let me tell you, for you to walk into a studio, wow, it was it it, it was something else. Mm. You know? 
I remember there are very few guys had studios. Jack Odongo had a studio in Gumo, mm -hmm. where I recorded my first ever advertisement for Village Market. I did the first ad for Village Market. Yeah, so here we are. Now that's voiceover. So I did the rap. Oh, you did the rap? Yes. So here we are at the Village Market. Papa's chilling, Mama's shopping, the kids are playing. You know, like, <laughs> I swear. It's, it's, Bro. It's, it's just one of these things that I even forget some of those things. I just remember when it comes up. Mm. And I'm like, wow. Can I remind you another one? Yeah, sure. Amani. Can you remember the management of Amani and the group that came? Listen. 